Just got back from the theater after having watched Roland Emmerich's Moonfall. Let's talk about it. Roland Emmerich's been in the news lately. He said that Marvel movies are ruining cinema, and let's just say Moonfall isn't any better. And I actually saw his last film in theaters, Midway, and I liked it. But Moonfall is definitely a fall from grace, if you can even say there was grace to begin with. Moonfall stars Patrick Wilson, Halle Berry, and John Bradley on a mission to the moon. If you've seen the trailer, you can see that this is a film much like uh, Roland Emmerich's previous movies where it's mostly a disaster film first and then everything else really does come second. Roland Emmerich's bread and butter are CGI fests. That's what he definitely excels at. All his films have great special effects. So if that's all you're really looking for, then you should check out Moonfall. But if you were expecting a little bit more in terms of story, good acting, this is not for you. This is just pure popcorn garbage. This is the type of movie you watch because you want to shut your brain off. Unfortunately, I don't even think this film excels at being a popcorn flick. What do I mean by that? There's a group of characters that you actually care about, which is the main cast, Halle Berry, Patrick Wilson, and John Bradley. And then you've got a side group of characters that you don't give a f about. I think I know what the script for this movie was. And it's the phone book, because this is full of phoned-in performances. Let's talk about the main characters. Patrick Wilson stars as main character. That's really all the depth that he has. Patrick Wilson does a serviceable job. He's not a bad actor. I think he tends to take these roles that he can really phone in and get away with. But Patrick Wilson doesn't really even need to try to be convincing. But his character just lacks a lot of depth. Halle Berry is serviceable as a higher up at NASA, not much else to say there. And John Bradley gets a couple laughs here and there. Some of the jokes built around his character work, and some don't. Your mileage is gonna vary on that. I mean, he has a cat named Fuzz Aldrin. And unfortunately, what the film does to create depth for the main three characters is create some side characters, family members, and you just don't give a f about them at all. Patrick Wilson has a son named Sonny. Halle Berry has a young son and a babysitter, and John Bradley has an elderly mother with memory loss. In a better movie, these characters would be necessary to add depth, and you'd actually care about these family members. But in a movie like this, all you really want to see is the CGI and the main mission get completed. You really don't care at all about these side characters, their feelings, how the main characters react to these other characters being in danger, and sometimes I don't even think the characters react properly. In better movies, you grow to appreciate cameos, but the cameos in this are just laughably bad. You've got Donald Sutherland phoning it in for maybe two minutes of screen time. His character was completely pointless. Absolutely pointless. I actually think that the only reason to get him is just so that they could put his name on the poster. In fact, if you really think about it, the side character's purpose is just to be a POV for all the action happening on Earth, because the main characters are going up to the moon. That's where all the action is, but uh, a big part of the budget is going to be what the CGI looks like. So if you want to see it, instead of it just being B-roll, with no characters interacting with the environment at all, they came up with these characters and they thought they'd get a two for one, adding depth for the main trio and also giving us a POV for all the crazy stuff happening on Earth. And by crazy stuff, I mean the family members get into an altercation with some looters. <laughs> they run into the same looters, I think like two or three times and you just don't care at all. And I guess that has an arc? Not really. The fact that the movie isn't as entertaining as you'd want it to be, coupled with weak characters that get these relationships just pushed on us because they need depth, overall makes a lackluster experience. Yes, I laughed a couple times and the CGI is nice to look at. I mean, just great job from the artists on that front. But I don't think that this movie's anything special. I'm not even sure if it's worth streaming. Maybe. I think it's a little long. I think this movie would have been great as a 90 minute adventure, but it really stretches its two hour plus runtime. I think a lot of people will enjoy this movie anyways. So let's get to those numbers. For entertainment value, I'm gonna give Moonfall a three out of five. I think it was decently entertaining. The visual effects are carrying the movie pretty hard. Um, a couple of jokes did land, but I think it's a little long for what it's trying to do. 
For technical quality, I'm going to give this movie a 1.5 out of 5. The acting is just phoned in as all hell, and the script is just dumb. So if you add those numbers up, that's a 4.5 out of 10. Let me know, are you going to watch Moonfall this weekend? Have you already watched it? What did you think? Leave your thoughts down below, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side.